This is a great show, you should really watch it. It has some great food, you can learn to make it. Nikki. Gosh, you guys are so extra. Hey. <laughs> hey, you. You. Come here, I want to tell you a couple secrets. So, I'm gonna tell you how to make your, your week super easy by getting dinner on the table fast. The longest amount of time to prep is starches. So we can cut down a lot of, of food prep time if we do those ahead of time. And my trick is I do a lot of things at once. So right now I have sweet potatoes going in the oven. I'm gonna have some black rice going in a little bit. Uh, tonight for dinner we're actually not having any starch so that cuts one out right there. If you do your starches ahead of time um, and roast some veggies and cook your proteins, then during the week you can always take some grilled chicken out, some pre-cooked rice that you cooked already, saute some veggies and then bam, you have a really easy you know, fried rice for, for during the week. Everybody's happy, dinner's on the table, and you get to have an actual life. What would you do? Well, with my extra time, I've started a fitness journey. So let's see if we can get this chicken nugget to go away. <laughs> Here's another trick. I always coat my half sheet trays with uh, tin foil and so I'll show the trays underneath there. Foil and I use um, parchment paper on top. And what that does is it, you know, it lessens the time that I have to uh, scrub pots and pans. So all I do really is uh, take the, the foil off, give it a quick washing, and, and I'm done. No one wants to spend all night doing dishes. All right, y'all, so don't be afraid to give your grill spray with some cooking spray. All right, so we got some pork loin and some uh, chicken breast. The chicken breast will be for salads all week long. My wife has to have a salad every single day, so we, uh, we make chicken ahead of time all at once, and then all week long we just kind of break it out a little at a time. And then that, the pork is for dinner tonight, and we'll have a little for leftover um, so I could make some quick saute uh, later in the week, okay? Listen guys, you're also going to want to get your hands on a meat thermometer, okay? You need to also learn the cook temperatures for different types of proteins so you stop overcooking them stop slicing into them and letting all the juices juice out everywhere okay you can jab that little thermometer in there oh there's uh there's maddie back there hey maddie um you can jab that uh, thermometer in there and you can know right away uh what temperature it's at so you can know that it's safe and servable so for chicken breast it's 165 degrees internal temperature and for pork it is 145 degrees although i'd like it a little bit higher i do about 150 because i don't like it any like super pink um but you need to know about food safety in order to keep your family safe and also so you stop overcooking stuff so it tastes like shoe leather Ooh, it's getting dark out here y'all so this is temping out at, um, that's the pork, temping out at um, 150, so we're good, we're going to take that off. Um, and then the chicken just needs a, a couple more minutes, it's temping out at uh, 150 also. Um, so this little guy is probably going to be done the fastest, this little dude right here. This, this guy's the biggest, and the second biggest, obviously it takes a little bit longer. Um, so 165 is our target temp. For marinades for my meats, I usually use some sort of weird flavored olive oil and vinegar combination. Uh, you know, there's all, if you explore your, your vinegar and, and olive oil um, section of your, of your grocery store, you'll find all kinds of weird stuff, like maybe some chipotle pepper or, um, you know, peach balsamic or, you know, just kind of play around with the flavors. Um, there's a lot of really cool Asian blends. I use a, a, an Asian rice wine vinegar that has a little bit of sugar in it, so it aids in the caramelization. That's why the, the meat is so caramelized. Um, and it also um, has garlic in it, so there's that. guys so here is the end result of our uh, meal prep we have two roasted sweet potatoes um, those will go later in the week we'll put some Greek yogurt on top and um, some grilled chicken that'll be an easy dinner I have some veggies to go with that roasted cauliflower grilled uh, asparagus roasted zucchini this is our dinner for tonight those are those pork chops 
with some of those veggies, no starch, and we got a little bit of sriracha peach um, jam right there. Here is our chicken we grilled off, um, our pork, and I have two salads for tomorrow, me and wifey. And the best part about this cleanup is these trays. What do I do? I do this, throw them away, give them a quick wash, and we're donezies. So by using the grill and by uh, prepping our pans this way, um, we save on, our, our, uh, on making a big mess. So we have less dishes and we're all prepped up for the week. So we can bust out some veggies uh, for a quick saute. Uh, we got a starch on deck for later on and we have proteins that are just break out and we can saute them really quickly um, or you know mix them with barbecue sauce, make a quick quesadilla. Um, but we're, we're in good shape for the rest of the week and now everybody's happy. It's huge! Does size matter? <laughs> I mean, ask this guy. <laughs> <laughs>